Hi everyone, Blake Jones here. In this episode of How Do You Do That, we're going to go over how to utilize the fixed vectored qualifiers together with our primary corrections for speeding up my scene by scene corrections of a project. And we're gonna go over and just show you exactly how fast it works and how it really makes that big difference. Okay, so in this um, project, we're gonna first start out by doing a bit of primary color correction. I'm gonna start with the shot of her. Okay, and if I look at my scopes, correction that's uh, the default correction doesn't look too bad there what I want to do is just maybe balance the gain a little bit okay bring the lift down a little bit balance that bring that down compress the gamma do something like that okay now I'm going to have a look at this shot. Maybe I can plug the correction from here into there. So I'm just going to come up here, center mouse click here. Now, as you can see, the correction goes in there. Now what I can do here, just to spice it up a little bit, let's bring this up like so. And then I want to take the high softening just to get my highlights out of the clip. Okay, and it looks a little bit too warm to me. I just want to just cool it down just a little bit. So as you can see from here to here, it looks good. Okay, so let's have a look at this shot. This shot looks very blue in comparison to this one. So I'm gonna first plug the correction in there and you see, yes it is. And then what I'm going to do next, balance the lift out a little bit. Bring that down a bit. Gain looks pretty well balanced, but it's a little bit on the cool side, so let's use the gamma to warm it up a bit, something like that. Okay, now let's have a look at the, uh, okay, this shot, I think we can probably plug this correction into here. So we'll go there, bring it in. No, that doesn't quite work out so well. Let's try her. That's better. The correction from her into this shot is pretty good on that. And then I want to bring this up just a little bit, like so. And now I want to work on the animals. They need a bit of work here. So as you can see here, let's bring the lift down a bit. Bring this up a bit. up a bit like so yeah okay and that looks good let's run through the whole shot to see how it works and that's fine and then let's kick that correction try it in here no that doesn't work but we'll try this one nope that doesn't work either let's try this one here that's a little bit better for this one and then let's just balance the lift up a bit go all the way through the shot okay that's pretty good now we got to fix these two guys here and now what we want to do here is balance the lift bring down the gain This way. So this is looking here. Maybe just open it up a little bit here in this area. Something like that. So this way, now we've got this one, this one, this one. And then this one has to be worked on. So let's try that one, bring it in. That's better on there, but the highlights are a little bit too intense. So what we're going to do is to bring the lift up a bit, balance that, 
bring the gain over a bit like so bring it up like here and then highlights so let's just bring that down a bit like that so we got dung, dung, here and here okay and that's looking good and we've got this shot of him this one should be a bit warmer still okay that's good and then we've got our early morning shot here let's bring this up a bit bring it in like here open it up so we can see a little bit more in there like that and then the same goes for here let's darken it up a little bit there stretch those that signal out a bit and that's looking good here okay so now what we want to do next is we have a look at the horses here and we'll just bring that down a bit here like so bring this over like so here like that bring this up bring it up like here i took the correction from here from five put it into four gave me a good starting point a little too bright in the highlights so I want to bring that down just a little bit bring that up just a tad like so and then we bring this up like here and then we want to bring the horses down maybe just a little bit just so it cuts better okay and maybe that's too much so maybe we want to bring this up just a little bit basically we do it like this so this is a little cheat what we do here we get these two like so and then I come to the high uh, softening and then bring it down so this way I get my highlights out of the clip okay so then we just have our left with our first three shots these are pretty simple shots to work on so what we want to do here is just balance that up a little bit and bring that down bring this up bring this down like so and then come to the low softening bring that up out of clip like so come to the gamma area make it a bit more neutral and then we come over here do the shot of feeding the rhino here and we're going to come over here and bring that up like here now okay so now what we've got here is at this stage we just have to do this shot okay this shot shows me it's a bit too blown out here so what i want to do is bring it down a bit bring the lift down bring this up a bit like so balance my lift area here and we bring it in like that and then we bring the gain up like so good so there we have that good and this one may be what we want to do and this is just make the horse a little bit more neutral that's better that works better for me okay so now what we've done is we have gone through and graded everything with just primaries in the first note so what we can do now is certain shots that we want to provide some secondary color correction or qualifiers to it we can add a node and then what we do is we come up to color come to presets and let's say add blue here now as you can see now it affects the blue area of the picture if i come to 
Here you can see the qualification area. If you look at the qualifier area, you can see it automatically made the qualification for me here. And then I can even come up to shots like this and say if I want to pump up the green a little bit in this shot, add a node, come up to color, come to presets, and select here green. Now, if I look here at the highlight, I don't see anything at the moment because it's a bit of a yellowish green. So in order to fix that, just take your centering and move it over here. And as you can see, now it's picking up the green area. And then I can then come over here and then just change that to how I want. Yeah. And just make it a little more like that. And then if I want to do something like um, the blue of the sky, but as you can see here, because there's literally no color in the sky. So in order to fix that, what we do here is we widen this up completely. And we come over here and just click on that area, make it white like so bring the gain down a little bit and then we've got our blue sky that we've added into that area like so and we can just change that to how we want it to be something like that and then we can continue doing this across here like for example here i think you know the the color of uh, him is just a little bit too intense so what i can do here is come up to color come over to presets come over to red and then just bring it down slightly like so So it makes it a very simple process for actually going through and grading everything in the shot. And then let's say here, I want to maybe lighten her face up just a little bit. Come over here, select that, go to presets, go to red. And then what we can do here is now just highlight this a little bit. And now we've got that. So as you can see, it makes it so easy by using the presets together with just doing your basic primary correction makes you, it's so simple to go through and grade the entire project. You can see in that short a time, so I was able to get a good grade for this entire section. So there we have it. For more information about training services, have a look at the comments below. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Think about subscribing, it doesn't cost anything. And also think about taking a training class with us. There's some information in the comments below about this. And I hope to see you again really soon. Thanks a lot for watching.